A phase diagram is a map of the phase or state of a substance um, at different pressures and temperatures. And so there are regions within this phase diagram and there are also lines or curves that show the differences between the regions. So let's look at a phase diagram. This is the one for water. It's not to scale. Here we have pressure on the y-axis and temperature on the x-axis. And so this region is the solid region that tells us the combinations of pressure and temperature under which we would have water as a solid. This is the liquid region and this is the gas region. This is the sublimation curve that tells us that at this pressure it will sublimate at this temperature. Um, the fusion curve is where it's going to transition between a liquid and a solid. The vaporization curve where it goes between a liquid and a gas. Above this critical point, you can't have a liquid, and so you'll have a supercritical fluid. So this vaporization curve ends in the critical point. And then we have this really cool place in the middle here called the triple point. And that is a combination of temperature and pressure where all three states of matter exist at the same time. And I have a video of this. Reducing the pressure and it starts to boil. Yeah. This is thirty seconds later. It stops boiling. It's getting cold. Gotta wait. That's a solid forming, it's freezing. And it's boiling. It's freezing and boiling at the same time. Questions? Is that trippy or what? That shouldn't happen, right? How, how can that happen? How can something freeze and boil at the same time? What only happens in a special place called the triple point? There it is. Freezing and boiling. So weird. Don't know where that music came from. You may. It's possessed or something. Any questions? So here's the triple point for water. It's just going to be a little bit above zero degrees Celsius and below atmospheric pressure. Yes? No, um, most substances have a triple point. Some of them are like pretty much impossible to get to. Um, Tebule alcohol has uh, a more convenient triple point than water does, and that's why that video shows tebule alcohol.
We talk about navigating in a phase diagram, um, and here we can look at the, the phase diagram sort of as a map and, and look at, well, what happens if we travel in this direction or this direction? So we can look at changes in temperature, keep the pressure the same at one atmosphere. As we increase the temperature, we're going to go from a solid to a liquid and then into a gas. If we look at the same temperature and change the pressure, as the pressure decreases, the, gas, the liquid will eventually turn into a gas. At this temperature for this substance, you can't have the solid. It just won't exist at this, temper, at this temperature. Um, here are two other phase diagrams. This is iodine and this is carbon dioxide. And notice that these fusion curves have positive slopes. They go up as they go to the right, whereas um, things like water have a negative slope on the fusion curve. That's not normal, because water doesn't do anything normal. If we look at CO2, um, again, these, temper these pressures here are really, really different than they were for the water. Here's one atmosphere. Um, one atmosphere at any temperature, you're not going to have the liquid. The liquid CO2 can only be achieved at, at pressures above five atmospheres, five times normal atmospheric pressure. 